following the government policy of allowing pregnant and breastfeeding mothers who were in school before COVID-19 to go back to school. Asara Raima is one of those girls who took the courage to return back to school after giving birth two months ago. Asara Raima, who is an orphan, has to balance between breastfeeding and lessons as a P7 pupil at Niva Primary School in Arua City. Speaking to West Nile Television immediately after she returned back from breastfeeding her two-month baby, Asara says she conceived during the first lockdown and she realized after four months during the first phase of reopening of schools. I got pregnant when I was still in school. I was four months pregnant before the second lockdown was introduced. I stayed home till when I gave birth in October 2021. The father of the baby abandoned me after getting the news that I was pregnant. The father of the baby was working a nearby garage in town when I met him. He used to ask me to get married, but he refused. But people used to tell me that I am pregnant. I want to continue with school. I told my mother that after giving birth, I want to go back to school. If there are some young mothers who are taking care of their children without the help of the fathers of the babies, then Asara is not exceptional. For her, it is even worse, because even the full name of the boy who got her pregnant, she doesn't know as well as his whereabout. With the hardship that she is going through with her baby, Asara is now calling for any well wishes to support her in her education and taking care of her young baby. I need support because I want to continue with school and my mother lacks resources to support me and my baby. I want to become a nurse. I don't get support from my father, the father of my baby and even his relatives. After speaking to her at the school where she is studying, it was now time for her to go back before lunch so that she is able to breastfeed her baby. We had to go and see how she lives her life at the home, together with other family members in Guruasel, one of the Arua city suburbs. The first thing she had to do was to feed the baby with the breast milk, even without changing her school uniform. This is a two-roomed house, and this is the cheapest house that you can really get in Arua city. And this house is where Asara Reima a P7 pupil who is having a baby, a two-month-old baby, uh, that she is breastfeeding at, and at the same time she has to attend her lesson with, uh, with the rest of other pupils at Niva Primary School. According to the mother, she is renting this house and she has to balance buying food for her daughter who has become a mother and she is uh, taking care of the child right here. Faima Wadri the mother to Asara, who earns her living after cleaning the street of Arua City, breaks down, speaking to Westnal Television during an interview. <laughs> she says she lacks finance to take care of the baby. Even his father and relatives are not known. She told me that she wants to go back to school. So I asked her, what shall we do with the baby? Since I don't have money, but I love the job. The biggest challenge I have is lack of finance for education and even paying rent where we stay. I study, but only the financial challenges is the only barrier. I don't know the father of the baby and even his relatives. According to Faima, her daughter never had a self-delivery and if by any time the father of the baby shows up or any of his relatives, they have to compensate her before taking up the responsibility of taking care of the baby from her. My daughter's giving birth was not simple because she was a woman. If the father of the baby shows up, 
Adan Yasali, the head teacher Niva Primary School where Sara is currently attaining her education, says the school is doing whatever it takes for the girl to study amidst the responsibility she has of taking care of the baby. By giving her psychosocial support, by giving her counseling and guidance, so that she has hope. And I have engaged the class teachers in a way that they don't harass her. All we do is to support her, achieve her goal in future. And we have a specific time to allow her to attend to her child. She comes in the morning at 8, she's in class, to 10.30, and we allow her to go for, for the child to breastfeed. And after, she comes back to class from 11 a.m. up to midday is when she's in class. And after that, we also allow her to, to go and breastfeed the child. Since the child is too young, two, two months old, she can't be introduced to other foods. And we have said she will begin to introduce the child or to win this child at the age of six months. But for now, we have given her that privilege to go and attend to the baby. What is not yet clear is whether the government is giving helping hand to the schools that have accommodated girls like Asara, who got pregnant during COVID-19 and they have returned back to school to continue with their education amid the responsibility they have. For West Nile TV, I am Dennis Oringi reporting.